Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now, we're in the state of Rhode Island. We're currently in the city of Providence. Today, we're going to be doing a walking tour of downtown Providence, Rhode Island. It's about 76 degrees right now. We have some light winds. We're passing Hemingway's parking garage on our left hand side. On our right hand side across the street, we got the Rhode Island Department of the Attorney General. In front of us, we have a sign that says Brown School of Public Health. Looks like we have an eatery over here. Hemingway's Seafood Grill and Oyster Bar. We have a Citizens Bank ATM. On our right, we got the Old Stone Bank. Old Stone Bank. The roof looks really nice. Looks like it has gold accent. Established in 1819. I think we're gonna make a left hand turn right here. Oh, I see a bunny rabbit, guys. There's a little bunny rabbit. I'm gonna show you guys this bunny rabbit. A bunny rabbit in downtown Providence, Rhode Island. Check it out. Wow, an actual baby bunny rabbit. Hey, little guy. What's up, buddy? Greetings. What's up, Buster? You all right, buddy? <laughs> That's cool, guys. Y'all saw that? That was neat. Normally, I don't walk through the grass, but I had to make that exception because I spotted it from afar. Check out this Rhode Island Memorial. Battle of the Atlantic, Mediterranean Conflict, European Theater of Operations, European Theater of Operations, Pacific slash Far East Campaign, Pacific slash Far East Campaign, Southeast Asia Campaign. And then it looks like, wow, we're standing on the globe or on Earth. You have all of the continents. North America, South America, Russia, Africa, Asia, and I guess whatever other <laughs> components are connected to the globe. Check this out. Look at all of those little, uh, they look like seals. They're carved into the wall. We are grateful to the 96,000 Rhode Islanders who served our nation during this conflict. Wow, 96,000 Rhode Islanders. That's incredible. So I guess if you're from Rhode Island, you're called a Rhode Islander. Yours has the suffering been the memory shall be ours. Let me make sure that I read that correctly. It doesn't sound right. Yours has the suffering been the memory shall be ours. Longfellow. No, that's absolutely right. And then, no lapse of time, no distance of space shall cause you to be forgotten, ever it. And even on the benches, it says freedom of speech. That's pretty cool. And as you guys saw, there's some wildlife out here. We had a little bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit is in the big city. So we're going to walk through the grass once again, just to take this little shortcut so we can walk more towards downtown. We have some water right here in front of us. Looks like a nice little uh, pathway. I'm not gonna go down there, but I'm just gonna show you from afar. There's a little staircase. You can walk down the staircase if you want it. We're gonna walk up this staircase. We got two scooter dudes driving by us. State of Rhode Island, Hope, 1996 Bridge, 872. And then it looks like there's a map. 
and it is a bunch of pictures. Now, if I turn the camera the opposite way, since the sun is setting, you're gonna see the shadow of me in the camera. So that's why I'm not putting it leveled, but I just want to show you a little bit of what they have on there. So we're gonna walk over this waterway. The Robert E. Rowan Bridge. And this is the waterway. You got some of the downtown skyline. You have a gigantic mural right there. You see that mural? The woman is holding a picture of what looks to be like a native Indian. Probably one of the original natives of Rhode Island. Over there from afar, you can see a bridge and you can also see windmills. I think I'm gonna cross here. It's either here, or oh, matter of fact, let's walk a little further. I'm gonna cross on the next block just because I wanna show you guys that. See that monument? Pretty big, huh? Then if you look down, you got some stones paving the walkway. Here's the cement walkway. And then those are the stones I was referring to. Yeah, that's a whole nother memorial that was in the same park. We didn't walk over there, but I figured, let me get out the park. On our left is the financial district. If you head right, you hit the Providence County Court, RISD Museum, Brown. I'm gonna stop here and give you guys one more look at this uh, this monument, let me move over a little bit so it can cover the clock tower because it's right in front of a clock tower, as you can see. Pretty cool. We got the Textron World Headquarters. All right, we're approaching College Street. Punch buggy, no punch back. See that Volkswagen Beetle? Look at the little walkway. We could have came from over there, but I wanted to walk towards the city. So we're gonna wait for this light to turn green so that we can cross. This dude right here ate the red light. That dude in the black uh, Chevy. No, it's actually a Cadillac Escalade. It looked like a Chevy, though. Wow, he's speeding, and he was looking down at his phone. That's crazy. Some people be in a rush to go nowhere. Unless you got a time limit on life, unless you have a terminal illness, <laughs> and they say, it's not funny, but they say you got three months, then I understand, like, okay, now I understand what the Russian's about. You know, you're rushing because you're on a on a timer, you know? But other than that, relax. Look at this person right here is angry. He just cursed at her. And he's mad too. Both of them just uh, said some words to her. <laughs> Yo! People are crazy. Well, that's because it looks like she was trying to park in the middle of the street. You got Starbucks and Santander in the first floor of One Financial Plaza. I'm going to show you guys what One Financial Plaza looks like. Pretty tall buildings, right? I like that one right there. That's a nice corner piece. Nice building. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the John Wick building. Not wholeheartedly, just a little bit though. Yo, what's up with everybody making U-turns? 
A lot of people driving erratic. Look down. Look at the material used to pave this whole intersection. I think we're gonna cross the street. When we get to this corner, we're gonna cross the street. Wow, look at that. That thing right there, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Look at that face. You see that face right there? That face right there looks incredible. Awesome. That's a really awesome uh, sculpture that's connected to the building. We got some outdoor dining tables over here at the Bellini. The Bellini restaurant is in the exchange building, which was made 1844 through 1887. Wow, was that how long it took to make the building? We just came from that block, giving you guys an idea what that block looked like. They got all of the, the utensils outside. Are you serious? You know how many particles and stuff are gonna land on those utensils before they even serve you? That better just be for show. You know what I mean? <laughs> that better just be for show. That woman running. When she saw the bus go by, she yelled out the female dog word, the B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> she was mad that the bus beat her to the bus stop. You got the federal building, United States Courthouse. Oh, we're right here next to the bus stop. Check it out. It's like, uh, it looks like the main bus terminal. that building up there. Got a bunch of people out here. That's one of their buses. R-I-P-T-A. Rhode Island. It said Public Transportation Authority. I think that's what R-I-P-T-A means. Rhode Island Public Transportation Authority. You got John O. Pastor, Federal Building, United States Post Office on our right. We're gonna wait here because it's a red light. Look at that building right there. I wanna show you guys that building. I want you guys to get a little better look. You got the bus that just stopped here. So we're gonna continue moving forward. We're on Kennedy Plaza and Exchange Street. We have a park over here. Bunch of people sitting outside. See everybody sitting on the grass and just enjoying the fresh air. It's not too hot today and it's not too cold. It's like a perfect day. A nice light breeze, not too windy. Look at that, I just said light breeze and mother nature kicked in. All right, we're on Exchange Terrace. We got the state capitol right there at the end of the road. I'm gonna probably make a left hand turn. I'm gonna cross the street first and then I'm gonna make a left. I'm gonna walk around and see if maybe I can give you guys a peek, a better peek at that state capitol and then We'll continue walking towards the water. I'm probably gonna take you guys back around the waterfront. We got the bus over here on my left hand side.
check out the uh, jungle gym. They have one heck of a jungle gym display over there in the park for the kids. It looks very adult friendly. I feel like I could go hang on it. <laughs> wow. And then they got a nice little, it looks like a water fountain over there. Got a gentleman over here texting. We're approaching Bar Louis on our right. We're passing East Approach in the Financial District. Check this out. We got the Biltmore. See that building? The Biltmore. It looks like it has an outdoor elevator. You see that see-through glass structure that goes up? That looks like an outdoor elevator, y'all. Oh, look at that building over there. See that building? This little bus uh, terminal is popping. It's packed. It's a lot of people out. Free little library. Rhode Island Foundation. We just passed the Rhode Island Foundation. We got some Florida tags over here up north. Florida tags are from way down south. And we're a couple states away from way up north. And there's an eatery down there. There's a bunch of people down there eating. This is Union Station Brewery, established in 1993. Check out their hedge work. Honest food, you see the LED lights? So the basement's probably where it goes down at. All this greenery, vegetation. Even though we're in a city, you can see that greenery everywhere. We got the courtyard, Marriott building on my right. Max height, nine feet, six inches. Max weight, 17,000 pounds. I see some graffiti over there from afar on top of the, the building next to the... All right, you see the parking garage on my left? That's the Biltmore Garage. The building in the middle that says food and drink, not the big one on my right, but directly in front of us, I see A-N-O-R-E, A -N -O -R -E, and I see Shen, S-H-E-N. Some graffiti. They climbed up there and they did, uh, it looks like, throw-ups. Looks like Amor did more of like a burner, like a straight letter. Damn, this person right here in this black Honda was flagging off the SUV on my right. We have the Virgin Pulse on top of that building. We got a scooter dude on my right and this red vehicle was beeping at the scooter dude. She's very impatient. I guess she was unhappy that the scooter dude was riding his scooter enjoying life and she beeped at him. That's messed up. And she waited until he turned. Slick, right? She waited until he turned. What happened? You want me to get some food, brother? I don't even got a wallet on me, bro. Yeah, sorry about that, man. Let me allow these gentlemen to pass. Yeah, the gentleman in front of us with the brown hat and the camouflage long sleeve, he asked for some help, but I don't even got a wallet on me. So unfortunately, I'm not able to assist like I normally would. I just got ball shorts on, you know what I mean? And normally, if I would have had something on me, I would have definitely broke them down. But I don't, you know, I, I try to travel wisely. 
And when I'm in foreign areas like this, I don't keep a wallet on me. I don't keep no cash on me. I don't keep no debit cards on me. I don't need none of that. The only thing I need is me and the camera. <laughs> we got the Providence Journal on our left-hand side. Peter Pan bus line tickets sold on our right. Check, check out this uh, LED display above us. Show them LED lights. He was asking a couple other people too. Sucks. He said he wanted something to eat. On a few occasions, I'm sure you guys remember when I was doing walking tours and I would see someone and I have my wallet on me. If I didn't have the money on me, I would go inside a restaurant and go get them something, go get them a get him a drink, get him a pretzel, get him some tater tots or something, you know what I mean? We got the residence by Marriott on our left. This is the Hasbro building. Look at, they got the Play-Doh banners right there on the pole, Play-Doh. You remember, remember, remember Play-Doh? I grew up playing with Play-Doh. I'm real good with uh, sculpting clay though. Like traditional arts sculpting clay, the one that doesn't dry up. I like that. Haven't messed with it in a while, but maybe when I get settled down, I'll start to work on, you know, little displays or something. Just for, for fun. Who knows? You know, you never know what it could turn to. We got the Dunkin' Donuts Center on our right. One LaSalle Square. Providence Prairies at the Dunkin Donut Center. So this is a sports stadium. It looks like they got another memorial over here, some sort of display. So we're gonna cross the street and take a look at it. I'm gonna wait for traffic. We just walked this long block, you see that? So they got some flags over here, out on display. And then this is their little memorial. So let me see if I can read it. I'm gonna read what each stone says. There's big words on the bottom of each stone. Honor, courage, duty, loyalty, country. I cannot see that word. What does it say? I can't see that word. Heroism, country, loyalty, duty, courage. Oh, it probably says heroism. Yeah, I think it does. It says the same thing on the opposite side. World War II. So these, I guess, are people who were lost in World War II. The list is huge. Man, y'all can't even see it, but it's basically the names of people who sacrificed their lives for us to be able to do this right now, for this type of freedom. And then if you look right here, this is Hasbro. That's cool, because Hasbro makes a lot of board games. I think children's toys. That's kind of neat, kind of neat, right? This must be like a headquarters. You have a female over there walking a dog. I like this mural right here. It's on top of the Trinity Brew House. Check it out, it's a restaurant. I really like that. That's a really nice mural. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna position myself to try to take a picture of it. There's some dudes over there doing skateboard tricks. I'm gonna probably walk by them while they're doing skateboard tricks. Get a couple shots. 
but I'm gonna try to position myself a little bit better so I can get a nice picture. All right, let me see. I'm gonna point it up there so y'all can see it. And then I'm gonna try to snap a picture. I'm gonna snap an extreme wide shot first. I'm sorry, I got you guys off on an angle. And then I'm gonna try to snap a portrait. Let me back up some. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna cross the street. We're on Fountain and Empire. We got the Providence Public Library on our right hand side. Yeah, this is a nice little brew house. Look at it. It's pretty nice. I don't really hang out at brew houses, but I could appreciate the design efforts that they put into this. Please see hostess for deck seating. I guess if you want to sit out here, you got to talk to the hostess and then she or he will place you at a recommended table. You got a whole group of people over here busting skateboard tricks. Oh, it looks like a little miniature skate park. Oh, that's cool as ever. It's like a little miniature skate park in the downtown area. Oh, he's grinding and everything. Oh, he took a hell, but it's cool. You gotta fall to get better. That's dope. That's dope, yo. I wanna see somebody bust one trick. Something. Bust one trick. Oh, he grinded. Oh, he switched it. That was nice. <laughs> that was tough, bro. That's what's up. Bust a trick, bust a trick, bro, bust a trick. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Look at these masks. These masks are so cool. These masks are so cool, you see them? It's like two giant faces. Oh, that's fire. And it's on top of a parking garage. Such an awesome display for such a, like a basic location. <laughs> that's a waste of a cool display for a parking garage. But that's dope though. All right, let's see if we can walk down towards the Capitol. Remember I told you guys I was gonna at least try to show you that. Show you the Capitol and then we'll walk towards the water and see if, you know, we can get probably a better view of the memorial that we first walked by in the beginning. We'll see if we can see that at the same time. We got a hotel on our right. Look at that building right there. See that building, tall building. For a long time, I went to bed early. Boat coffee. It says, for a long time, I went to bed early. They ain't never lie about that. <laughs> for a long time, I went to bed early. It's like my senior citizenship kicked in when I was in my 20s. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't much of a partier. I wasn't much of a clubber. I didn't care about none of that. I still don't care about none of that. Look, they got a, a bike lane and it, it looks, it, it almost looks like a Pac-Man head, but then it looks like a heart. Then they got a little Corvette, the late model Corvette for all you Corvette lovers. I'm not a big Corvette fan, but hey, it's a new vehicle. You know what I mean? Passing Matthewson. Look at this, Murphy's Pub. And you got a grill across the street. 110 grill. Here, skateboard. Maybe this dude's going to the little skate park. Yeah, bro. 
yeah, bro, bro popped the bunny hop. <laughs> he popped the bunny hop. We got solid works across the street. Solid works. We got the late model Supra. The late model Supra. All right, so we're back next to that park we were near earlier. I'm gonna try to probably walk a block forward and then make a left, just cause I'm trying to get to that capital area. You guys will probably get another look at this park. Should I walk through it? Yeah, I think this time it's fair for me to walk through it, right? Cause I ain't walked through it the first time. All right, I'm gonna walk through it. I don't wanna walk over there cause I feel this though is gonna take me off course. I'm gonna cross. Just gotta wait for traffic. All right, almost, almost. I think I got it. I think I got it. Uh, I think I'll probably go over here. Probably be a better way to enter. I almost forgot. I was about to walk right around it. <laughs> well, I could have probably entered right there. That's when that senior citizen short-term memory kicked in. Say so, you no. Know, <laughs> there's some seniors that got a sharper memory than me. So I ain't gonna fraud. How is your memory? Look at that. That looks like some abstract artwork. You see that? This is a tobacco-free park. There was a sign I read. This is a tobacco-free park. Probably meaning that you can't smoke cigarettes here. When we were near the skaters and the skaters were doing tricks at, at the little skate park, the girl that was leaning on the tree was rolling up a Dutch. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like a cowboy dude with a gun. I don't think I can get through this park. Lillian Feinstein, Feinstein, she loved all people. That must have been a memorial for her. Oh, there's a little staircase right here. I can walk down the staircase. Somebody over there pressure washing. Oh, this is the continuation of the park. This is the part with the jungle gym. Oh, but there's kids playing. So I'm not gonna go really close because I don't like to, you know, I don't want to capture children without like full consent. Like we're from afar, but you, you know what I mean? Like, you can't really tell who's who, but... And even though sometimes I do walk through a park and there's probably kids playing, I try not to focus the camera on them. I just walk by. Like, flawless victory. Finish him. Fatality. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Oh, that's the little playground thing that I was talking about, though. You see it? That's a cool playground thing, but there's a bunch of kids hanging on it. All right, so we're gonna make a left at this corner. Oh, gimbal battery died, ladies and gentlemen. My bad, I'm sorry.
All right, it says the gimbal battery died. In order to avoid motion sickness, I'm going to try my best to, I'm gonna detach this gimbal first. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna detach the gimbal. Very unprofessional, I know, I, I hate when this happens. And then I'm gonna put it on a wide angle lens so that at least you guys can get a wider angle. That's the only benefit of walking handheld with it when the gimbal dies is that I can just widen up the lens and you guys can see a broader field of view. This happened to me probably on two or three occasions out of the many, 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 many walking tours I have. This happened to me, I think in Washington, DC. I did the second tour of Washington, DC, straight handheld. And then this recently happened to me, not too long ago. This happened to me when I was walking a small town. I forgot which small town, but it recently just happened to me. And I charge it, but the heat helps kill it. And then when I do all the tilting up, tilting down, it also kills the battery a little bit more. And honestly, I was doing a walking tour earlier today. So that's part of the reason why it died. So we're gonna walk over here. I'm just gonna wait. All right, we got a walking. I'm gonna allow these gentlemen to walk by so that I don't hold them up. There's a little bike over there on the floor. Dude, there's some water over here. We got the river and social. Over there, it looks like it's probably a restaurant. Man, I had to give a little bit of distance because one of those uh, fellows, wow, they had a strong odor. Ooh, I don't know if it's because it's a warm day, but it was a really strong odor. I was about to gag, so I had to just take a break. <laughs> Let me just give them some space. Check this out. Oh, there's ducks down there. There's ducks. I see a family of ducks. So we're not gonna walk around the whole entire capital, because to be honest, I don't even feel wholeheartedly right shooting this handheld. But it is what it is, the show must go on. The show ain't over to the fat lady sings, and guess what? I haven't sung yet. <laughs> we just passed a salon on my left hand side. Vera and Dijan Filippo? Yeah. Vera and Dijan Filippo, attorneys at law. That's that building right there. Oh, that thing's way off. That thing's way over there. I don't think this block's gonna lead me to it. But anyway, that's why another cool feature about not using the gimbal is I can do static zooms. I can zoom in and I can zoom out. So you know how normally when I do walking tours, I keep it at a fixed angle? I can actually zoom in. So let's test that feature right now. We're at Providence Station. This is like a Amtrak station. Oh, it looks like I could probably get a little closer. Yeah, I might be able to get a little closer. I'm gonna get a little closer and then I'm gonna zoom in. There's a little walkway here.
So sunny. Wow, that sun is beaming. Look at that clock up there. I guess so you know you're not late for your train. We have Amtrak's police over here. Stationed in a brand new Dodge. We got a cafe right there, cafe entrance. We proudly carry boar's head. Oh, wow. So you can eat boar's head. Isn't boar like a wild hog or something? Damn, people eat the head? Wow, and there's a lot of trees covering the covering the capital. I'm gonna try to get close to it. I don't want to be that guy that walks on the lawn of the Capitol. I mean, I walk on a park lawn, <laughs> but the Capitol and the park lawn are two different lawns. Oh, somebody got a ticket. See that orange little slip on the window? Somebody got a ticket. All right, I'm going to reposition myself shortly. And I want to show you guys the static zoom in shot that I was mentioning. All right, right here, right here is perfect. You ready? Static zoom. Look at that. So you see, you see the effective nature of sometimes when things go wrong, you just gotta go with the flow and work with it. All right, so what I'm trying to figure out is how do I get back to that little park? I don't know, I don't think this connects to the park. I might have to walk through here. I'm gonna go look over here and see what it looks like. I don't know if I can walk behind this building, Proudin Station. I'm gonna allow this gentleman to drive by. That's where we just came from. No, it doesn't look like there's no water down there. There's actually a set of railroad tracks. See there's railroad tracks. So that means that I probably gotta go around. I don't know if I can walk back here. Is this private property? Well, we'll find out now. <laughs> If somebody comes running after me, then you already know. That was cool. Somebody was out there doing art. They had like a bunch of acrylic paints and they were painting something. Got a bunch of bicycles out here. This is the bus station, the Amtrak bus station. <coughs> Looks like you got a bunch of apartments across the street. Got a bunch of, uh, what's that? Bike lockup poles where you can lock your bike up. Oh, look at the train. And guess what? Let's use the zoom feature. So that means that you should be able to get here from anywhere in the country that has an Amtrak. You'll probably have to transfer a couple lines. Look at, wow. You'll probably have to transfer a couple lines but you should be able to uh, get here. Like for example, from Philadelphia, you should be able to get here. From Florida, you should be able to get here. Cause I think the Amtrak runs all up the coast. They got a large green space over here. We're approaching Park Row West.
Center Place Providence, pet friendly. Looks like there's six parcel lands for sale or six land parcels, 1.86 acres. So you can buy 0 0.51 acres to 1.86 acres. That's some of the skyline view. We're approaching Canal, Canal Street. Oh, check out the water. We're back right next to the water. All right, I'm gonna make a right-hand turn. Here's the water. Lady Carrington and the Blackstone Canal. Somebody in a supermoto on our left. Yeah, Suzuki DRZ. I got the same one at home. <laughs> I want to ride it. Pull over, buddy. Let me get a ride. Yeah, I got the same one, but his looked like it had all the stock plastics and stock um, sticker kit. I have the aftermarket sticker kit. Like I customized one with Freddy Krueger, uh, Jason, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Hellraiser, Chucky, um, The Exorcist, um, and several other horror cat characters. The, the female uh, Chucky, the one that he marries and bride of Chucky. I got a lot of crazy characters on it. Mine's got a little theme on it, custom seat cover, custom grips, all the little little knickknacks and accessories. Look, that building has functional shutters. Functional shutters. And you don't believe me? They're like, tune, we don't believe you. What do you mean by functional shutters? You see those hinges? Those hinges mean that they can swing open. Then they got the locks. You see the locks? The locks on the bottom? Functional shutters. That's when zoom comes in handy, huh? All right, so we got the Palo Topaz Bar or Tapaz Bar. We're gonna continue moving forward. Oh, that's Rhode Island Hospital over there. That building right there, Rhode Island Hospital. I don't know if it's still a hospital, but it says Rhode Island Hospital on it. Yo, wonder what happened to that little bunny? What's up with the little bunny dude? Yo, that's dangerous because he's real close to the street. So I guess you can walk this whole entire path next to the water, I'm assuming, or maybe it continues on the other side. All right, we're gonna continue moving forward. Illustration Studies Building. 
Wow, check this out. Rhode Island School of Design. Wow, that's a lot of mosaic tiles. Each tile has something carved into it. Different names, different pictures, and it's on all four corners. Check out these flowers. They even have the informational uh, little piece. When you buy the seeds, look at it. Telling you what kind of flowers they are. <clears throat> Look, somebody hung over there just to write their name. Where is it at? Hold on, right there. Boom, I'm sorry. See that? Somebody hung over the edge. They jumped over that just to write their name. RISD Craft Summit Student Sale. Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't say summit. It says alumni student sale. Oh, this is the hospital. Rhode Island Hospital. I'll check that out. Museum of Art, Rhode Island School, Design. <clears throat> School of Design. I didn't see of. It was hidden behind the trees. Look at that. They uh, use some, um, what's that, yarn? And they like knit it, or they didn't even knit it. They probably just wrapped it around the tree. So the tree has a sweater. <laughs> it's too hot for a sweater, tree. You know you want to take that off. Let me help you. Say no. <laughs> like, tune, don't peel it off. No. Oh, check this out. A little water fountain. Wow, that's a lot of, what's that? Oxidation, what is that called? No, what's the green stuff called? I forgot what the green stuff is called. I forgot what that's called. That is called, that is called. What's the term of it? I forgot the term. I forgot the term. I can't even think of the term. Not ox is, is it oxidation? I don't know. I think it was probably oxidation. I just can't think right this second. Nigga, we got another memorial. And these uh, bricks say stuff. There's names on the bricks. Look at this. Why he look like a video game character with the hoodie? And he got the gun. Rhode Island. In tribute to Rhode Island Korean War vets. And then this is that... Uh, that monument that we saw from across the water in the beginning before the gimbal died. This is that park that we was in. Let us strive on to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. By this memorial, the city of Providence commemorates the loyal courage and fidelity of all her citizens who served in the world war, whose high example still summons us to love and serve our country. And you can't really see it because we're so close, but. There goes the clock up there, clock tower. I wonder if that little bunny's still around here. This is the little park where the bunny was at. Yeah, benches. It looks like a clean park, right? Seems like a pretty clean park. Centraville Bank. It looks like that street right there is steep. Wow, it looks like Rhode Island probably got some really steep grades too, because it goes straight up. We're on South Main. I believe this is the College Hill neighborhood. We got a few uh, businesses, like a restaurant and all that, right there on the left. This is where the bunny rabbit was at. Oh, there goes the bunny rabbit again. Guys, this is crazy. The bunny rabbit came right back out. Look at him. Oh, where'd the bunny go? Oh, he right there. You see him? You, <laughs> you see him? 
What's up, buddy? You alright, my friend? Wow, that's cool. Yo, the bunny rabbit must really like whatever's there. <laughs> it's a little baby bunny, y'all. Let me give you another view since we got the zoom feature. You see him? I'm trying to talk to him, but I don't think he understands. Squirrel. I'm talking squirrel right now. <laughs> Usually I could communicate with squirrels, but I gotta figure out what language uh, rabbits speak, or if not, get a rabbit translator. <laughs> Yeah, so we didn't walk the whole entire downtown as you may have already saw. But if you want to learn a little bit more educational details and see more of downtown, make sure to check out the driving tour. I did a driving tour of downtown Rhode Island, Providence. You want to check that out because I'm able to cover more square miles driving than I'm walking. Walking not only does it make me sweat, but I'm not flash, so I can't be at all corners. Oh, the restaurant looks a little bit more busy. Yeah, so you guys got a chance to at least see some of the area.